like our name, you know, uh, griffins are the mythological creature, half lion, half eagle, guardian of treasures. They often sit on the outside of buildings, right? They're carvings, um, and the idea is that they're guarding the treasures within the buildings. We think of ourselves as sort of the guardian of all these masterpieces that have been created, but it's also equally important that we are instrumental in causing new works to be commissioned. I'd say the origins um, of that, that interest um, were stemmed from, from years of studying chamber music in Banff. The three of us met at the Banff Centre. Uh, we all spent a lot of summers um, just learning an awful lot about life and music and uh, proper partying techniques. One particular summer when both Roman and I were about 18, we were both heading off to Indiana University and we had played in a chamber music group and we wanted to continue, so Menachem Pressler was one of the teachers there and we asked him if uh, we could study with him. There was something about uh, his passion and just, the, the, you know, the, the, I mean, it was incredible to study with him. In um, 1993, we, we called on, you know, called up Jamie and just said, what are you doing? Do you want to join us for a few concerts? It became clear that, that, that Jamie, Jamie was the guy and he was definitely on board and, um, and, and so it began. I think it was after a couple of concerts. He agreed that this was a good thing and we haven't stopped since. I mean, for us, it was it was clear that it wasn't just about pursuing uh, a, a career on stage. You know, it wasn't just about you know a concert or concerts or, or touring. We saw at that point um, we saw it as a number of, of activities. I mean, recording would be part of it. We hoped at that point, and and at that point we we recognized already that that groups such as ours and that younger players needed to get involved. Um, and needed to be interested um, in, in the audiences that they were performing for. We felt we wanted to engage with, um, with, with the public in as many ways as possible, whether it be through uh, education and outreach uh, projects or new types of collaborations or recordings or performances, not necessarily in, in the usual um, types of venues. So just to close that loop, we felt that a name such as Griffin, which wouldn't normally be associated um, with a musical group, might, uh, might be a good one for us. I would say it's probably the communication of music at, at, at the highest and most direct level that we can. And I think that's, you know, that's, that's what we try to bring to our performance, it's what we try to bring to our teaching. Uh, Annalie and I are, are full-time professors at University of Toronto, uh, Roman is part-time, and Roman's also artistic director of the Ottawa Chamber Music Festival, which we're gearing up for. So, you know, in, in all, the, all the musicians that he's hiring to bring to the festival, it's always trying, you know, we're always aiming for the highest quality, a breadth of experience, and, uh, and again, just that, that pursuit of artistic excellence that I think uh, uh, once once, once you have a sense of what that is, it's something that uh, you're not satisfied with anything less. You know, beyond that, we also enjoy the challenge. I mean, some of, you know, the new music, new techniques, stretching the expectations of players. I mean, they really, you know, kind of keep us humming along. I mean, sometimes we're asked to do things that are, that, that, that we're not familiar with, and that's, that's interesting, that's stimulating, and that keeps us going. And I get to play these great works of art. Um, and not only that, I get to, it's, it's the relationship that I have with an audience. So the, the, the fact that we've been able to play as often as we do is, the, I mean, that was something that as a young player just starting out, that took time. You know, it was all about 
me or you know it's about the person that you spend hours by yourself right practicing and practicing and practicing and learning how to communicate and to talk to an audience and have them get what you're trying to say um, that takes time and once you figure that out it's the best